Good afternoon, neighbor. I'm so glad you stopped back by. Today, I'm going to be doing another part to my Let's Get Gardening series. Today, I'm going to be talking about rosemary. But before I start, if you're returning, I want to welcome you back. And if you have just found the channel, I welcome you. And I also welcome you to go ahead and hit that bell and make sure it lights up. Give me a thumbs up. And make sure that bell is lit so you never miss any of the upcoming videos. Again, today, Let's Get Gardening series, we're going to talk about rosemary. As you see in this video, this is a small rosemary plant. It was purchased at Sprouts. They are not sponsoring this video, but they have really good herbs and they have great prices. A friend of mine dropped by and said that these were only $2 a piece. Now, I'm not sure if they still have any, but... At the time, it was a fantastic price, and they had a plentiful amount of herbs out there. Now, rosemary can be used in a lot of different ways. In cooking, you can use it on chicken, lamb, roast. You can make rosemary butter and put it on a steak. You can grill the steak, put the rosemary butter uh, on it afterwards. You can put it on potatoes after they've cooked, like let's say you're grilling in the, in the oven, go ahead and put some oil over those potatoes just a little bit, coat them, grill them, and then put some rosemary on afterwards. During my research, I found out that this has some antioxidant properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and also, rosemary oil can be very, very toxic if ingested and should never be taken orally. And this is what my research has found. Now, you can purchase plants like this and plant them outside in your garden. Obviously not in the dead of winter if you have snow. But most of the year, you can, in my area, you can plant rosemary outside. It likes most soils. It's not picky. It has a wonderful aroma. Now, you can take cuttings from a rosemary plant that's established. You put the cuttings in water, not the leaves though. You take the bottom leaves off and put those uh, cuttings in water. It takes about two to four weeks to root. And I change the water out every two or three days just to make sure it has uh, fresh, clean water. And also on the water, what I do is if I use water uh, from a faucet, I let it sit for three days in a container. And that way, if there are any chemicals or anything in there, uh, it, it just dissipates and it's better for the plant. Again, do not allow the leaves to be underwater while you're rooting. Now, watering rosemary. Depending on your area uh, in the summer, if it gets to be 110, 117, whatever it might be, you might need to water rosemary a little more often. It doesn't like soggy soil. It likes to have well-drained soil. And every one to two weeks, like I said, unless the, the temperatures are very hot, uh, there have been times um, in my area I've had to water rosemary. Of course, I check everything before I water it. I've had to water rosemary every week, every three days. It just depends. Depending on how hot it is outside. During the winter and the fall, I don't water it at all. In the area where I have my herbs, in my garden, I have three and a half, four inches of mulch. So I make sure I test that soil to see if it's still moist. If it is, then I don't need to water. It can be grown as an annual or a perennial. It, again, depending on the area of the country that you're in. And it's often planted with other herbs. A lot of people plant rosemary all around uh, the foundation of their home. Ants do not like rosemary. Most bugs do not like rosemary. And most, I say, critters don't like rosemary. I've never seen a rabbit come up and start chewing on a rosemary plant. But it smells wonderful and it does have a tiny purple flower. Check in your area for the different varieties that grow the best. Now, rosemary can be planted in an herb garden. 
It can be planted around your home, just in your yard. It can be planted in a pot. And it also, the pot can be brought into your home. Don't put it near a, a vent that has the heat blowing on it. It doesn't like that at all. Put it in well-drained, loamy, slightly acidic soil. And it needs to get at least six hours of sun every single day. This is for um, the growth to be the best that it possibly can. Now, when you're preparing the soil, remove all the rocks, things of that nature, if you're outside. Uh, I've seen fields of, ro of rosemary plants. I've seen walkways lined with rosemary and then mint in the walkway and then flowers all around there's so many things that you can do with rosemary it's a very versatile plant it's pretty hardy um, i've only had one die and that was a couple of summers ago it was ex extremely hot um and i just it was on the side and I just neglected to water it enough. Uh, also, it was on a west part and it had reflective heat off of the home that I was in. Uh, it just kind of french fried it. And if I would have watered it, it would have been fine. Well, neighbors, I'm glad you stopped by this afternoon. There are a lot of different herbs that we're going to be going over in my Let's Get Gardening series. I hope you can go out, find a a rosemary plant some of them the, this time of year they're shaped uh, like Christmas trees or like trees you can also shape them any in any shape you want you can groom them and it will be a decorative item to your landscape or to your homestead in the comments tell me if you've ever planted rosemary how you use rosemary in, in your cooking or maybe just to keep bugs and critters away from your homestead and your home and again give me a thumbs up like the video and i hope to see you soon